All right, what's going on, YouTubers? Today we're gonna do a quick little uh, recap on my K&N air filter that I put on my 2012 Honda Rubicon. It's a T-Rex 500 FPA. It's got the automatic and power steering and all that. And uh, I bought this K&N filter back uh, I think I put on five to six thousand kilometers on it now. I got it back when I first got the bike, uh, just to see if I could do a little bit of tuning or whatever to get a little more horsepower out of this old thing. And uh, anyways, I'm just gonna let you know what I think of it. So I can't remember how much I paid for it. Honestly, I think I got it off Compex or something like that. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is just a personal review for my opinions. Um, but anyway, so I put the filter on, and um, I was choosing between this and a uni air filter. I had run K&N on my 354 tracks before this, and had pretty good results. I've got K&N, a full K&N system on my truck right now, and it worked pretty good. Um, so I decided I was going to go with this again. Uh, the only difference I've seen from the uni air filter to this is the uni air filter almost has like a soft pre-filter onto it. And this one, it's just got like a wire meshing around it with the filter inside. You can clean this. It is reusable. I usually clean mine once a year or so. Typically in the spring, uh, just because it collects quite a bit of dirt and dust. I have seen people say that it does not collect everything, like as far as fine particulate matter. And, well, my opinion is, I've got a snorkel on my bike with two inch piping. And so it opened up the airflow to the stock intake quite a bit more. Um, and I do get some bugs and stuff, like maybe a small leaf or something will go in here. And it'll come down through the piping into here. But my Canon air filter, it always filters out that big stuff. Can't really say as far as a fine particulate matter other than the results of uh, cleaning it each year. You can see that the there is quite a bit of stuff that comes out of it. So I know it's doing its job as long as you keep up with the cleaning it or whatever. It shouldn't have any issues. Uh, as far as how it works, honestly, well, the results are going to vary. This is on a 500 Honda and... As you can see, it is straight axle. I've done a couple things to it just to try and pep it up or whatever, but you're not going to see very much on the top end. It's mostly bottom end power that you'll notice. The top end, you might gain like one, two, at most three kilometers an hour. Mine would usually top out at like 93, like holding it right to the bar, and now it's like 96 with 26 inch tires on it. So, I mean, you'll get the results will vary, but um, I'm, I mostly noticed it on low end. I found was, there's a little bit more torque to it and had a little bit more bottom end power, but like it is a Honda, so you're not going to notice that much. If you had like a belt driven bike, you'd probably see more of a distance or more of a difference. But other than that, like it, it's worked pretty good so far. I've had basically 6,000 kilometers on it and knock on wood haven't had an issue with it uh, I usually drain my card reader bowl just to clean this out because it's in fuel injected I clean that out usually once a year whether I want to or not <laughs> um, but other than that like I haven't had any issues if I can find a light here you can see in my air box this is from last season like there's not even really there's a little bit of dust here and there, but not compared to like before I put it in. Um, I will say that I did silicone, as you can see, I silicone my box around all the couplers. Um, that was in response to the snorkeling, but the couplers did have some little cracks and stuff in them. And honestly, they're not waterproof, so don't trust them. Um, I would definitely recommend even from the factory Put some silicone on it. It doesn't take long, it doesn't take much. Do both sides if you can. And uh, it'll keep the dust out and the water and dirt and all that stuff. 
Overall, though, like, I'd probably buy this again. Um, I did notice a difference in it. Like, it does work pretty good. Uh, Maintenance-wise, it's pretty easy to clean. You can buy the cleaning kit for it at, like, Walmart or Canadian Tire or whatever. Some people just do it in gas. Whatever works. I guess it's up to you. Probably the K&N filter kit, the cleaner, would be the best bet. Because it's a proper way to do it because it comes with the oil. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good. Simple, kind of cheap mod to do. You probably notice more of a difference on like a uh, Polaris or Can-Am or something like that. For being more snappy, but... Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.